Today, I would like to talk about uh, some, some real life which is one of the important functions to study the supersymmetric case theory. This work is based on this paper written with Anatoly Koryama and Tomohiro Kuritova in Osaka City University. Okay, first let me explain our motivation. The dynamics of the supersymmetric case theory is, is sometimes encoded in the algebraic curve called as a cyberwitting curve or spectral curve. This is one example of the cyberwitting curve called as a D5 vector geometry given by this algebraic equation. This curve is a one a genus one two dimensional object, so that we can define two kinds of the period, we, uh, we, uh, cyclic integral called as the A period and the B period. From the form of the B period, we can calculate the uh, free potential of free energy, which is one of the important physical quantity to study the uh, to determine the dynamics of the supersymmetric series. In that sense, the B period has been studied uh, extensively. On the other hand, the A period. Uh, rest, is less understood than the B period. However, especially for the case of the region theory, the mirror map, which can be calculated from the A period, plays a quite important role. For example, the free energy of the region theory can be given by two terms, so the perturbative part and the non perturbative part for the chance I'm on the level. However, uh, and, uh, these terms has, uh, have an infinitely many poles for the special value of the chance I'm on the level. However, these, these poles are precisely cancelled to each other, so the total function is finite for arbitrary value of the chance I'm observing. The important point is that you, without using the A period, without using the mirror map, we cannot reach this result. So we cannot reach a, a finite function. Therefore, we think that to determine the, to determine the dynamics of the supersymmetric case theories, the deep understanding of the mirror map is quite an important task. That's why we focus on the mirror map in our project. In the recent progress, uh, they they show that uh, some kind uh, the free energy of the, some kind of the evidence sorry, can be can be expressed by the wild uh, wild characters whose whose group whose group certain uh, group theoretical structure it comes from the symmetry of the spectral <coughs> Also. Very roughly speaking, the free energy of the Eugene theory can be calculated from the B period. In that sense, we can say that the B period has group theoretical structure in terms of the uh, symmetry of the uh, uh, spectral curve. So the natural question is, what about the A period? So can we see, can we see the group theoretical structure N in A period? This is a, a concrete motivation in our study. OK. Oh, uh, more concrete, let me introduce uh, the, the uh, spectral curve of the evidence theory. Here we consider the general uh, generalization of the evidence theory, which is given by the first power of, first power of the UN, uh, UN group. Then the, each spectral curve is given by this form, uh, which is also d 5 delta geometry. However, compared with the previous case, now we import the computational relation for the classical variable P and Q to the which is given by this uh, uh, operator equation. So due to the quantization, the A period and the B period become the quantum corrections. And the quantum corrected A period is sometimes called as a quantum, quantum mirror map, which is main function in our study. This spectral curve has a, S, a cube of SU3 symmetry, which can be understood as a breaking of the D5 symmetry. And, and this symmetry breaking is observed in uh, in B period who are free energy by by these objects. So so the so the in our study we consider the quantum mirror map of D5 symmetry uh, quantum mirror curve of the uh, geometry having the D5 symmetry, so the D5 geometry and the, uh, and the we check that we check whether we can see the group theoretical structure in A period uh, for the D5 geometry. Okay, before I go into the detail, let me summarize our result. Through our study, we find three things. Uh, sorry. Through our study, we can say that uh, A period is similar to B period, quite similar to B period. More concretely, uh, from the form of the quantum mirror map, we, can, we find the three things. Why is that the quantum mirror map can be expressed by wide characters? As I said in the previous slide, the geometry we consider here have a, have, has a D5 D5 bar symmetry. Correspondingly, the quantum mirror map, which can be calculated from the information of the geometry, should have such a symmetry. As a result, the quantum mirror map can be expressed by a variable, which is invariant under the wave transformation. 
this structure is also similar to the B period. The second is that uh, all of the coefficients of the characters in A period can be given by integers. By taking into account the multi covariant structure, uh, that I will explain later, this structure is also similar to B period. Finally, by, by combining these properties, we find that we find that the uh, representations of characters in A period are exactly the same as the representation of characters appearing in B period in, for each other, except for one particular case. In, based on these properties, we can say that uh, we now we can say that uh, A period is quite similar to B period. This is our result. Okay, in the remaining time, I will discuss in detail in this in this order. Firstly, uh, this is the definition of the uh, D5 derivative geometry, where, uh, where we uh, introduce uh, 10 parameters, so, so small, uh, small e1 to small e8, and uh, h1 and h2. And we further put the constraint for the parameters like this one. <coughs> the coefficient of the curve, so this one, this one, this one, or something, are determined by the eight asymptotic values. For example, when when they, we take Q to infinite limit, then these terms become to be dominant. So these terms equals to be zero in the in the in this limit. Then the roots of these terms are given by the one number small e1 and one number small e2 corresponding to these points. So similarly, by uh, I, uh, similarly we put the remaining asymptotic values on this figure, then we can define the d5 uh, d5 derivative geometry like this one. And the D5 symmetry can be seen by exchanging of the, exchanging of the uh, asymptotic, asymptotic values, like these, uh, these arrows. So D5 while group can be generated, generated by the transformation of this, uh, given by this exchanging. <coughs> okay, then we consider the con uh, quantum curve by improving the classical variables P and Q1 to the uh, quantum operator Q, uh, P hat and Q hat. <clears throat> uh, we further introduce uh, them, uh, additional uh, parameters given by E over alpha. Then this curve have, uh, has uh, some redundant parameters. To determine how many parameters are redundant, let us consider three situations. One is about the, one is that the, one is about the eight asymptotic values. <coughs> Since the curve is determined by the eight asymptotic values, so the so the ten parameters minus two parameters, so two asymptotic. But uh, eight asymptotic values, so two parameters should be redundant. The second is about the rescaling. This <coughs> this rescaling doesn't affect doesn't affect the quantum spectrum. So the curves before and after this rescaling should be identified. The final one is the constraint I told in the previous slide. So by combining this constraint, uh, this condition. The five parameters are rarely needed to describe the deep of the geometry and ambiguously. So here I use the uh, uh, five parameters at the E1, H3, 5 and H2, one, and the H1, two, H2, one. And the, the remaining parameters are fixed in a useful way. <clears throat> now we move on to the computation of the quantum mirror map. The quantum mirror map is given by the integration of the functional of the wave function given by for this Schrodinger equation. So H is uh, the, uh, this, uh, this one. So by solving the Schrodinger equation of the problem, we can obtain the quantum mirror map as a series of the complex modules. Here I show the one, uh, one uh, I show the re uh, result of the second order denoted by A2. And we find that this A2 is invariant under the wave transformation. And uh, also this A2, is con uh, this A2 contains 10 terms. Then, by setting the alpha like this form, we find that uh, this A2 is exactly the same as the wire character of wire character of 10 representation, which can be also calculated from the wire uh, character formula, so well known mathematical formula. This is uh, one example, but uh, in our study, we we find that uh, this choice of alpha works very well, and all of the terms we have calculated can be expressed by the wire character. Okay, I finished explaining the, uh, how to express the quantum mirror map uh, uh, by wire characters. Then I will, uh, next I will explain how to express the coefficient of the characters by, uh, by integer and of what's the meaning of the same representation. 
Okay, in the previous discussion, we have calculated the constant mirror map, and this is a first order, uh, this is a first order of the constant mirror map. Uh, a part of the first order of the quantum mirror map. <coughs> then we find that uh, there are fractional coefficients. This one, this one, this one. <coughs> On the other hand, in the case of the A1 geometry corresponding to the usual Abelian theory, uh, this the quantum mirror map has a merge covering structure, and by taking into account such a structure, all of the coefficients of the character can be given by integers. <coughs> Here, the merge covering structure is that uh, higher, uh, higher, uh, higher order can be decomposed into a lower order. So the higher order is given by the summation of the lower order, right? This uh, formula. Then the natural question: uh, It's natural to ask whether the quantum mirror map in our case has a merge covering structure or not. The answer is of course yes. So I will explain how, how to define the merge covering structure and uh, uh, yeah, in detail. To consider the issue, it's more convenient to consider the inverse function of the quantum mirror map. So here we denote the quantum mirror map uh, uh, by ZF, uh, ZF. Then the inverse function is given as a series of the ZF, like this one. At this stage, there are still fractional coefficients in, this, uh, in the F of here. <coughs> then by introducing the functions, uh, function denoted by epsilon 1, epsilon 2, epsilon 3, and epsilon 4. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we find that a uh, higher order can be decomposed into the lower order by using the uh, function epsilon. Moreover, we find that all of the coefficients of the characters appearing in, uh, in, a, uh, in, in the function epsilon can be given by the integer. So all of the coefficients can be given by integer. Therefore, we conclude that uh, uh, we could determine the merge covering component correctly. <coughs> Moreover, from this expression, we find a quite interesting relation to the BPU. In these answers, they provide a table of the BPS indices and their representations uh, calculated from the BPU. Then, we find that uh, uh, the all uh, representations of characters, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, appearing in a period is exactly the same as the uh, representation of characters, this one, this one, this one, appearing in B period, except for the one trivial case. So, so in the in the for in the uh, in the uh, first order, the, in the B period, there is there is 16, uh, 16 representation. On the other hand, in the uh, APO, there are no representation. Nevertheless, except for one, uh, one, uh, one, one trivial case, we find a uh, uh, precise agreement between the A period, A period and B period for each order. So it, this, might, this strongly implies that A period uh, could, uh, might be able to be interpreted as a physical sense. For example, if it's an indices or some indices. But so far, we don't understand one, what's the physical meaning. So, so I believe that this is quite interesting future direction to determine what's the physical meaning. OK, I finished uh, explaining the merge current structure and the same uh, structure of the representations to those the BPU. Uh, OK, let me summarize my uh, talk. In this talk, I, uh, we studied the uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, quantum mirror map of the D5 delta geometry having the D5 symmetry. And uh, from the form of the quantum mirror map, we find that uh, we find the three things. One is that the quantum mirror map can be expressed by a variable characters, which is invariant under the wave transformation. The second is that uh, uh, all of the coefficients of the characters can be given by integers by taking into account the marginal structure. The third, and then by uh, combining these properties, we find that uh, represent, uh, all of the representations of the characters appearing in A period and B period agree each other, except for one uh, trivial case. Again, I would like to say that uh, these uh, properties imply, certainly imply that uh, A period might be able to be interpreted as a physical sense. But so far, we don't know. So this is a uh, uh, quite interesting future direction, I guess. OK, so this is uh, what I would like to say. Thank you for the So, yeah. so is this is this actually the, not the same uh, theory, right? 
So you some introduce this action in this D, D5 or something. Action on this thing. Action on the one. Those are symmetry in the same way, right? This D5. No, no, this is the symmetry of the theory. Oh, um, for, that, can you see in the Abigen theory? Um, the free, for example, the free energy of the Abigen theory can, uh, can be expressed by the characters of for example, SU, uh, cube of SU3. So in that sense, we can see the such a symmetry. But uh, the, the difference between the D5 purpose, the symmetry and the cube of SU3, SU3 symmetry is that uh, in the cube so of the D5 purpose symmetry, there are many parameters. But to connect to the to the Abigen theory, we have to uh, set some of the parameters to special value. This choice breaks uh, some of the symmetry. In that sense, we can say that part of the D5 symmetry in the Abigen theory. By, by calculating the free energy. So that's meaning that uh, you may have some view, uh, column view B, so you can calculate the free energy of that. You're saying that uh, AP, that what would be by this view. What's I mean, the AP gem is still another page view in which there, the free energy will be computed by AP. And, uh, and so you mean that the what's the uh, thing? Yeah. Um, I um, I would like to say that uh, the free energy can be calculated from the BPU. Yeah. But uh, here I will, I uh, we consider the APU, which is defined to the BPU. So so the and uh, in our study we find that the APU is quite similar to BPU, and uh, and uh, all of the coefficients can be given by positive integer. So this implies that the uh, APU the become uh, might be able to be interpreted from physical sense, but. Uh, we don't know. Would it be possible maybe the secure of the ABGM theory to which or the theory can be used the uh is called the neural of the A theory. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Yeah. 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 I think for generic value three for we have uh, a spin more more some problem for usual much to cover problem for growth of string or over a buffer much much to cover problem for open string. So so what uh, my question is why you emphasize your much to cover problem at uh, easy different from usual uh, asking more more some problem for buffer uh, support. Um, uh, sorry, I don't know what's the uh, for, uh, what's the form of the formula. So, is this formula is given by uh, given by the, uh, some character or something? Uh, yeah, I I I, I forgot I forgot the details, but uh, and usually uh, some uh, I I I. Uh, in my understanding, the quantum mirror map can be given by the uh, maybe the SU2 plus SU2, uh, SU2 character, which comes from the omega deformation uh, omega deformation parameter about the coupling constant. But uh, in our case, we uh, we find that uh, all of the coefficients can be given by character uh, expressed by characters uh, with a parameter with a mass parameter or uh, mass, with a mass parameter. So this is different from the our well-known case, I think. Okay, maybe we will discuss with you. Yeah, maybe over coffee. Yeah. Okay, we have uh, coffee. Let's thank the speaker again. Uh, we come back to the uh, quality of the 11.